One of the other things I quickly discovered um, would really hinder my practice was if my head was full of stuff. Um, especially if I got a lot of projects on, a lot of things that needed doing, then I could be so busy trying to make sense of everything that needed to be done that when I went to do my practice, it just spilt over, it continued. So this next particular exercise I found really helpful as a way of pretty much freeing up my mind. I was amazed the first time I did this exercise, uh, the benefits it brought to my practice because I didn't have to try and remember anything. I didn't have to hold on to like, oh, I must remember to do this. I must remember to do that. So instead of doing my practice, I was just trying to remember stuff that needed doing. This is a great exercise. And even if it's just a great way of organizing and planning your time, if you've got a lot of things on. So, okay. So this is your mind. Okay. It's not anatomically correct, but this is a representation of the average person's mind. And what usually happens is this. So this is T-A-H or task at hand. Let's say this is doing your practice. And this is other stuff. All the other stuff that needs doing. Stuff to worry about, stuff to get anxious about, various daily stuff of being alive, taking care of things, people to call, things to do. This is all the other stuff. And as you can see, most of you know your brain, your mind, is taken up with other stuff. So what I'm about to show you will help you to get rid of this picture because instead of all this other stuff running around random in your brain taking up your, your attention, what we'll do if you follow this mind karma technique is hopefully we can get it to here. So this is the task at hand now, our practice. And this is other stuff. So now with this, after you do this, the process I'm about to show you, you can, re you can bring so much more of your mind to your practice and as a result, get much better results. The first step is to make a list. Basically make a list of every single thing that I've, I've got to do. So if I start my list, it might be design a 20% off voucher, make a giant whiteboard, my wife's told me off for writing on the walls, so I figure if I have a whiteboard there, whiteboard there, then uh, that's okay. So I need to organise a new venue, make Total Health website. So I'm going to make continue and make my list, and uh, instead of you having to watch me do it all the way through, I'll turn the video off now and I'll turn it back on again once I've made my list. Back. So as you can see, I've made my big list of stuff that needs doing, all the projects that are on my mind at the moment. And, you know, there's no competition for how big your list is. If it's shorter than that, that's great. If it's longer, that's great as well. So just write down every single thing that you've got to get done. Okay, so this is your big list of stuff that needs doing. Then the next step is to go through each item and decide which category it goes in. We're going to split them into three categories. We're going to split it into a work category. We're going to split it into a home category. And we're going to split it into, for green, green ink works, into a fun. Nope, fun's not working. So let's go for blue and a fun category. Okay, so for example, design a 20% off voucher. Well, that's definitely, that's work. Make a giant whiteboard, work. Organize the tab center, work. Make total health, work. Take Ollie to a pediat uh, his pedi pediatrician's appointment. Okay, that's home stuff. Okay, so that gets that on it. Teach Louis to walk on the lead. That's home stuff. So you see what I'm doing? Pretty much you go through 
and split everything into either a work list, a home list, or a fun list. Okay? So I'm going to do that so I don't have to bore you going through each and every single one of the things and then I'll come back to you when I've got my, my three categories. Okay. Is I've split them up into three categories, use different pen. I've got black is all the things on my list that are work orientated, blue is everything that's home orientated and pencil is everything that's fun. And I mean just doing this straight away I can see that my life is not balanced. Look how many fun things I've got. Two. Look how many work things I've got. You know, and yeah, this isn't balance for me. I need to do more things. But you know, who's to say what balance is for you? Okay, so this just it will give you some idea. If you may be feeling a bit under pressure in your life, and you do this, it's great because it gives you a bit of clarity. You can see if you need to balance your life out a little bit more. So then these are these are all my work things. These are all my home things. And then these meager things are the fun things that I want to do. So the next step is to think about for the next week, so the next seven days, or maybe the next two weeks, or maybe the month. It de depends for you how best you work and what your life is like. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through this list because I, I need to decide for the next week what's my primary objective. You know, what do I what do I want to get done? What's my mission at the moment? What do I what's going to help me move forwards? Uh, in the next seven days, what out of all this stuff that needs doing in the next seven days do I need to get done to feel good about my life? So, what I'm going to do, I mean, you can take it for each category, but I'm just going to focus on the work category here. Okay, so my, my prime directive, it's like my primary objective for the next seven days is to, okay, so my, my mission for this week, just put that one there is to focus on the Be Happy course. Okay, so I've got Be Happy course at the end of the week and there's a lot of things I need to do to make sure that's as successful as I want it to be and as much value for the, the, the people taking it as I want it to be. So I'm going to go through my list and I'm going to pull out those things that directly relate to my mission for the week, the Be Happy course. So 20 cent off voucher, yeah, that relates. Organise tab centre, no. Make a total health website? No. Shall I, uh, Scholar Warrior video newsletter? No. Now I'm not saying these things aren't important. Obviously doing the newsletter is important. But they're not important right now. It's just, you know, I don't need to focus on all these things. I need to focus for this week. I'm focusing on the Be Happy course. So days for summer camp? No. Summer camp website? No. Lion dance? No. Accommodation? Sorry, Louis bit me. That's a bit of my blood. Launch Total Health. So as I go through, you know, rehearse Be Happy Workshop. Well, that's definitely related. So what I'm going to do is I'll go through the list and I'll take out everything that directly relates to my main mission for the week, the Be Happy Workshop, and then I'll come right.